according to royal expert Robert Hardman. Queen Elizabeth II adored Prince Harry and hoped there could be a chance of a reconciliation between the Duke and the rest of the royal family. Speaking on the latest Palace Confidential, Mr. Hardman claimed that the Queen even believed, in her last few months, that the tensions could have been thawing. Speaking of the moments Harry spent in the UK since his royal exit, Mr. Hardman told host Joe Elvin, when Harry came, the Queen was very happy to see him. It was definitely a sense that, through the year that the direction of travel was towards some, sort of, rapprochement. He added, he didn't come to the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service, but then a few weeks later, Harry, did come on his way through to the Invictus Games. He saw the Queen then, and then, Harry, and Meghan were here, with the children, during the Jubilee. Mr. Hardman continued, so gradually, through the year, we were seeing things thawing. We weren't seeing a complete, you know, any sort of a reunion but very much the general path of Harry's relationship with the rest of the family seemed to be converging towards some sort of reconciliation. I think she would have found that comforting. He also spoke of Harry's relationship with his late grandmother. He said, she adored Harry, and, Harry adored her. Despite the tensions, he added, he was still very much loved and he had a sort of, direct line of communication to her. Harry and Meghan Markle made the decision to step down as senior working royals in 2020. According to the 2020 royal biography, Finding Freedom, the Queen has always made it very clear to Harry that he is an important part of the royal family. According to the publication, the Queen was still one of the most important women in Prince Harry's life and during a meeting prior to the exit, she made it clear to Harry that she would always support him in whatever he decided to do. Since 2020, Harry has been based in the US with Meghan and their two children, three-year-old Archie and one-year-old Lilibet.